Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, you'll learn how easy it is to control Amplitube and Cakewalk using the MVave Chocolate MIDI controller. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to download the Cube Suite editor to your desktop from the QVave website. Go to the link in the description and follow the download instructions. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. For our tutorial, we'll be using a combination of long and short presses to control Amplitude 5. Using the long press function, pedal A will go to preset 3. Pedal B will go to preset 8. Pedal C will go to preset 12 and pedal D will go to preset 16. Using the short press function, pedals A through D will be used to toggle effects. Let's begin setting up the controller in the Cube Suite program. When you launch the Cube Suite program on your desktop, you will be presented with this screen. To set up Amplitude 5, check Advanced Custom Mode. Select foot switch A and check mode, step short or step long. When you check this box, you'll see a second box appear that is labeled bank B. Whatever you program in bank A will be executed when you step on the pedal and release it. Whatever you program in bank B will be executed when you step on the pedal and hold it. Let's begin by setting up pedal A to change to preset 3. If nothing is in the bank B box, click add then double click the entry select your MIDI channel for MIDI type select PC the chocolate controller sends PC messages 0 through 127 so the numbers you enter must be one less than the preset you wish to go to since we want to go to preset 3 we must enter the number 2 click OK to save it now go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select custom MIDI code. Here, we'll enter a hexadecimal number to toggle effects in the custom MIDI code box. Note, you can copy and paste the hexadecimal numbers for each of the pedals from the description below. Enter B0 0, 01 Zero zero B zero zero one seven F and click OK. Let's repeat the previous procedure for pedal B. Select foot switch B and check mode, step short or step long. Double click the entry in bank B and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. Since we want to go to preset 8, we must enter the number 7. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select custom MIDI code. Enter B0 02 00 B0 Zero 02 7 F and click OK. Now let's go to pedal C. Select foot switch C and check mode, step short or step long. Double click the entry in bank B and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. Since we want to go to preset 12, we must enter the number 11. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select custom MIDI code. Enter B0 0 03 0 0 B0 0 03 7F and click OK. 
Finally, let's program pedal D. Select foot switch D and check mode, step short or step long. For MIDI type, select PC. Since we want to go to preset 16, we must enter the number 15. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select custom MIDI code. Enter B0 04 00 B0 04 7F and click OK. The last thing we need to do is to set the expression pedal. Select expression pedal and click interface. Double click the entry and enter 11 for data. The loosened value is the value of the pedal when it is fully open. Enter 127. The step on value is the value of the pedal when it is fully closed. Enter 0. Click OK. Close the interface and exit the editor. You're now done programming the controller. Now let's set up Cakewalk. In order for the chocolate controller to control Amplitube, we must first set up Cakewalk to transmit the messages. We do this by going to Edit and Selecting Preferences. In the MIDI slash Device Input and Output tabs, check USB MIDI. Click Apply and OK. Cakewalk is now set to transmit MIDI messages from the chocolate controller. Now let's set up Amplitube. Setting up Amplitube to change presets can be done in five easy steps. 1. Go to Add Track. Select the Audio tab and click Create. 2. Insert the Amplitube VST2 into the FX bin of the audio track. 3. Go to the VST2 dropdown and click Enable MIDI Input. 4. Go to Plugin Properties and check Configure as Synth and Enable as Plugin. 5. Insert a MIDI track. For input, select USB MIDI and the channel you wish to use. For output, select Amplitude. Now when you long press a pedal on the chocolate controller, your presets will change. Setting up Amplitude to toggle effects can be done in three easy steps. 1. Right click on an effect and select MIDI Assign, Bypass, Learn Bypass, and step on a pedal on the controller. Repeat for any other effects. Two, click the settings menu and go to the control tab. Select control change and preset. You'll see the effects you MIDI learned. Three, change the latch on each effect from off to on. Now your effects will toggle. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.